Hi there folks, this is Graham Carroll here, alias the Warrior Unknown, if you've watched any of my videos on YouTube. Now today, in Piano Lesson 88, we're going to carry on with the concept of practicing seventh chords, like we've done in previous lessons. But this, this time, we're going to play the third inversion, but we're going to play the chord in the right hand for, for, for about four beats sustained like so and do the arpeggio in, in, in the left hand so when when we if you're not sure what's happening here watch the last lesson and we're using exactly the same fingering to play the, the chords or the arpeggio so just look at the last lesson if you're not sure what's happening and if you want the order of the chords just just have a look at lesson number number 80 but anyway here we go. What we're going to do on the on, on the on the way up, we're going to be going like so, sustaining the chord and playing the arpeggio as as we always do. Going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and on the way down. So anyway, we're on we're on the third inversion of, of D minor seven. So let's start. Play through this exercise as always, one hand at a time first. If you can't manage them both together, then put them together afterwards. So let's go for it, folks. One and two and three and. Folks, we played the arpeggio in our left hand of all the third inversion seventh chords on the C major scale and harmonised it and sustained the chord in our right hand. So I hope that's of some help to you practising all your third inversion seventh chords, folks, and developing your left hand arpeggios. Anyway, if you've got any comments or requests or whatever, just leave them below the video. I'll do my best to answer. This is Graham Carroll saying have a nice day and I'll catch you in the next video, folks. Over and out.